evaluate f of x equals an absolute value of x plus 2 plus 3. Find f of 6. x is 6, so simply plug in or substitute x, which is 6, so that will be 6 plus 2 plus 3. Simplify. What is 6 plus 2? That is 8 plus 3. What is an absolute value of 8? That is 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. Therefore, when the value of x is 6, given this function, the value of y is 11. Next, g of a equals 3 raised to 3a minus 2. Find g of 1. The value of a is 1, so let us plug in. The base is 3, exponent 3, and a is 1 minus 2. So this is 3. What is 3 times 1? It's 3 minus 2. This is 3, and 3 minus 2 is 1, or simply, this is 3. So therefore, when x is 1, given this function, your y is 3. This is h of n equals negative 2n squared plus 4. Find h of 4. So let us substitute. The value of n is 4. So this is negative 2. Parentheses, n is 4. And it is raised by 2 plus 4. So let us simplify. This is negative 2. What is 4 squared? That is 4 times 4, which is 16 plus 4, equals negative 2 times positive 16 is equal to negative 32 plus 4 is equal to negative 28. Therefore, when the value of n is 4, or when the value of x or the domain is 4, your range is negative 28. Now, let us determine if the graph is a function and let us state the domain and the range. So how do we know if the graph shows a function? So we will use a vertical line test. When a vertical line test or that vertical line crosses at exactly one point, therefore, it is a function. So let us use a vertical line test. So I will draw a dashed line. And this line crosses the graph at exactly one point. So therefore, this is a function. Now, is this the only side that we could draw the vertical line? No. You can draw anywhere here, but even though you draw this vertical line test here and then here, it will still pass through exactly one point. How about the domain of this graph? Now, when we say domain, this is the value of x. Now, I want you to look at this point. This is a closed circle and Another one is this. Both are closed circle. So therefore, the values of x or the domain will start at, at negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So that is from negative 5 until 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the domain will be from negative 5 to positive 7 inclusively or this is negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and so on until 7. How about the range? So your range is your y. 
So let's take a look at the peak point. So that is positive 9. So we have here at negative 8, but this is at negative 9, both closed circle, meaning your range is from negative 9 to positive 9. That is from negative 9, negative 8, negative 7, until positive 9. How about this example? Is this graph a function? So let us use a vertical line test. So you can draw anywhere here. So let's draw here. And the graph or the vertical line test crosses at exactly one point. Therefore, this is a function. How about the domain? So the domain will be all values of x. So as you can see, the graph is going to the left continuously and to your right continuously. Therefore, the domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. How about your range? Your range will start at positive 2. So that will be from positive 2 to, is it negative infinity or positive infinity? Since the graph goes up, so this is positive infinity. Last example, so let's have this graph. Is this graph a relation or function of course this is a relation but is this a function so let us use a vertical line test and this line crosses this graph at exactly two points therefore this is not a function so if you will identify its domain so let's identify its domain so value, values of x will be from, this is negative 2, so that will be negative 2 to positive infinity. How about your range? So since your range is going up, so that will be from negative to positive infinity infinity so that is how you identify if the graph is a function or not when the vertical line test crosses the graph at exactly two points it is not a function